Hello, this is Pastor Greg Gray with the Calvary Baptist Church here in Smithfield, Virginia. It's a very special day for us here at Calvary as we celebrate our anniversary once again. But it's a very unusual day also. This is the first time in the history of our church that my mom and dad uh, are not a part of this day with us here on earth. Thank the Lord they're with God in heaven. Mom and dad stepped out by faith years ago. God led them to start this church through a series of prayer meetings in their home. And I thank God for how he's blessed us through the years. God has called men to preach out of this church. He's called men like Brother Dave Preston to go out. We've helped him start the Heritage Baptist Church in Mount Pleasant, Utah. Brother Gary Ross and his dear wife Sherry gone down to Surrey to plant the Community Baptist Church. And I'm glad our church has had a part in that. Others have been saved and baptized. Lives have been changed. Homes have been put back together. It's because of the power of the gospel. But thank God my mom and my dad were yielded to the Lord in all of it. I believe the testimony of their life is one of consistency. It's not a life full of zenith moments and big accomplishments. That's consistent service. God did something wonderful with their life on this earth that we're all benefiting from here today. We've put together a series of pictures and items we think will be a blessing to you today as we think about what God's done in the life of Pastor and Mrs. Gray, the life of my dad and my mom. I hope this will be a blessing as we watch these things. And may the Lord receive glory as we do.
church as a boy. My mom and dad did not go to church. And my granny had a burden to see our family saved. She took me. I was the oldest of five children in our family. And because I was the oldest, granny made sure I went to church. And uh, every time she went, I went. And my heart was touched by the truth from the Word of God on many occasions. I was under so much conviction. And I pray tonight again, if you're lost and undone without Jesus, I pray that in this meeting tonight you get under conviction. I tried to sit way back in the back, but Granny made me come sit right by her. <laughs> And in just a few moments, for some reason, I lifted my head. And when I did, my eyes locked eyes with the pastor that morning. And he looked right at me. And he says, it's time for you to come to Jesus. My heart was about to explode in my chest. But all of a sudden, my feet were moving. And my legs were working. My heart was pounding. I couldn't hardly breathe. But I made it somehow to that altar. Yeah. And knelt down to pray. Yeah. And the pastor that morning led this old country boy to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I've been saved ever since. Amen. And never been sorry that I've been saved. Amen. But I've been glad that Jesus come into my heart. Amen. And if Jesus is in your heart today, say amen. Amen. And let's thank God for salvation amen. in Jesus Christ. Praise God.